So as you saw right here on King 5 just a short time ago, Trump supporters breached that gate at the governor's mansion. It happened about 3 this afternoon, and Drew Mickelson was there. He's been there throughout. What's the situation there now, Drew? Joyce, nice and quiet back here at the Capitol campus in Olympia. For several hours, several hundred pro-Trump pro demonstrators rallied on the steps of the state Capitol peacefully. They're very passionate, but also very peaceful. But then right around 3 o'clock, they headed over here, right next to the Capitol, to the governor's executive mansion, gated entrance. You can see several investigators still here some two hours later. The wide gate there, that's where cars go through. We just saw an FBI investigator on the scene. They're here collecting evidence, but it was the small pedestrian gate on the right side that got broken through. We understand it was actually broken by these demonstrators. Take a look at the, at the video. This was right around three o'clock. Several dozen people went onto the property right after that gate was, was broken through. They were chanting uh, for the governor to come out. We understand Governor Jay Inslee was inside the residence at the time of this, this breach. This is an area that is surrounded by a fence. There are no trespassing signs that, that are posted. The governor was in the home at the time, but we understand he was either removed from the property or at least put in a safe location. So he was never at any danger. And the crowd, while they were yelling and chanting, they didn't damage any property at the mansion. No windows were broken. They did not get inside the mansion. And the, the state patrol spokesperson just told us that they were able to kind of make their point and then they left peacefully. But still, that spokesperson called this foolish. He said it was unacceptable. And those who did go onto the property will be investigated and could face trespassing charges. The safety of our elected leaders is one of the democratic institutions that we all hold dear. Threatening and challenging those institutions, whether it's a person, a building, or a facility, or even the idea of that safety is an assault on democracy. We are paid to defend that. So there was a moment when the, the breach happened that really there was hardly any law enforcement presence. There seemed to be one uniformed trooper. Uh, we were told perhaps it was a sergeant who was on the other side of the gate. There had been uh, a police presence around the campus today because they knew about this, this rally that was planned. But as soon as the, the gate was broken through, we saw a couple of dozen squad cars from uh, local agencies, the state patrol. I asked the state patrol if, if they thought they were prepared for today. And they said, you know what, we, uh, we learn something new every time on one of these things. And, and they did admit, I think his quote was, yes, we can always do better. State legislature comes back here to Olympia to start a new session on Monday. They've also been preparing for some uh, large demonstrations. I asked if, if this was a bad sign of things to come, and they said, you know what, we'll be prepared. They're gonna prepare for a grizzly bear, he said, but they're hoping a chipmunk shows up. But uh, after what they saw today, I can guarantee we'll see a, a big police presence here, uh, at least for the next few days. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.